Welcome to another tutorial video on PLC programming. In today's session we will discuss, how we can connect a two-wire pressure transmitter with the PLC. As always, we will try to keep the things simple to make this video tutorial easy to understand. What is the function of a pressure transmitter? A pressure transmitter is a device that, has been designed to measure pressure in liquids, fluids or gases. They are commonly used to measure pressure inside industrial machinery, in order to alert users before an incident occurs. Before starting today's tutorial please subscribe this channel for more upcoming video tutorials. In today's tutorial, we will be using a pressure transmitter to measure water pressure inside the pipeline. The sensing range of this pressure transmitter is 0 to 200 millibar. This means that at 0 bar pressure, analog output signal from pressure transmitter will be 4 milliamperes, and at 200 millibar analog output signal will be 20 milliamperes. Now let's discuss the electrical wiring for this pressure transmitter. This pressure transmitter have three terminals on it. Number one terminal is the power supply terminal for this pressure transmitter. We have to connect 24 volts DC positive wire to the terminal one. Number two terminal is the analog output from this pressure transmitter. We have to connect this output terminal to the analog input of the PLC. There is another pin. This pin is the earth connector. We can connect the shield of the wire to this terminal. So, we can say that this two wire transmitter, have terminal 1 where we have to apply 24 volts DC, and terminal 2 is the analog output of the pressure transmitter. Next we will see the analog input terminals of the PLC. If we open the cover of the first slot of PLC, there we will find a connector for analog input and outputs. This connector have terminals where we can connect the signal wires coming out from the analog sensors. Each terminal is specified by the number. Let's have a look at the wiring diagram for this PLC connector. As you can see that, the terminal number 2, 3 and 4 are for the analog channel 0. We can connect analog transmitter output signal wires to these terminals. If the output signal of the pressure transmitter is 0 to 10 volts, we can connect output signal wire at terminal 2. On the other hand, if the analog output of the pressure transmitter is 4 to 20 milliamperes, we can connect this current output signal at terminal 3. Terminal 4 is the common terminal for both voltage and current input. As today we are discussing the wiring of a two-wire pressure transmitter with 4 to 20 milliamperes. We will connect the current output analog 4 to 20 milliamperes signal at terminal 3, and 0 volts DC wire at terminal 4. First we will connect a connector with wire to the pressure transmitter. This wire have two cores, brown and white. Brown wire is connected to terminal 1 of the pressure transmitter and white wire, is connected at the analog output terminal of the pressure transmitter. We can connect brown wire to the 24 positive terminal of the power supply, this way 24 volts DC gets supplied to the pressure transmitter. Next we will connect a blue wire, which is the 0 volts DC from the power supply to the terminal 4 of PLC connector. And white wire which is the analog output of the pressure transmitter at the terminal 3, which is current input terminal. Now our wiring is completed here, we can now connect the wire connector to the pressure transmitter. Now we will see how to program the S7300 PLC, to read the analog signal from the channel 0 of the PLC. First of all we will create a new project in the semantic manager with any name. Next we will create a S7300 station, and open the hardware configuration. Drag and drop a S7300 PLC and insert a S7300 CPU. You can see that, this CPU have 5 analog inputs and 2 analog outputs. If we open it properties by double clicking on it, you can see that all analog channels, by default are selected as voltage inputs. But we have a connected a pressure transmitter, with current output at channel 0. We can configure this channel 0 as a current input with 4 to 20 milliamperes range. If we go the address tab, here we can see that the address for the channel 0 is PIW752. We can read the live readings of the channel 0 from this address. Now we will save and compile the hardware configuration. Next we will go back, and open the programming blocks of the CPU and open the OB1 block. We will browse and search FC105 scale convert function. Drag and drop this function on the network 1. We will enter PIW752 address at an input. This will tell the this function to read the analog values from the channel 0. We will enter 0.0, .0 as low limit and 200.0 as high limit. This will scale and convert 4 to 20 mA current values to 0 to 200 millibar. 
Next we can assign a bit to set this scaling block as unipolar or bipolar. Next we will assign memory word MW10 to the return value to show any alarm codes in case. Next we will assign the double word MD4 to the output. The scaled analog value will be transferred to this double word MD4. So, the programming to read the analog channel 0 is completed here. This scaling and converting function, will read the analog channel 0, and convert this 4 to 20 mA analog signal to digital value 0 to 32767. Then after conversion this function will scale these digital values to 0.0, .0 to 200.0 millibar. Let's upload the station programming the CPU and go online with programming block OB1. As you can see that right now channel 0 converted value is 0 because right now there is no fluid pressure inside the pipe. Let's start pump and create some pressure inside the pipe. As you can see that water starts to flow inside the pipe and we have some values coming up at PIW752 data register and these values are being scaled by this function and store the scaled values in the MD4 double data register. Pressure inside the pipe is now stabilized at the 142 millibar. So, this is how we can wire and two-wire analog transmitter with the S7300 PLC and how we can program and scale. Please share like and subscribe this channel for more videos, till next time take care and goodbye.